You see, that's the thing. The what is the one common trait here? Kanye West, Dave Chappelle. These are two African American males who have been made. You know, they've lost money for simply standing for what they believe in, and these are the same liberals who turn around and say black lives matter but that's not what liberals want that's not what white liberals want they're destroying they black these black men's lives another thing Kanye West bring up he said he was he was talking about his friend who said let's go to the holocaust museum in Germany he said well let's go to our holocaust museum right here called Planned Parenthood yeah how many black millions women, of babies killed black babies are disproportionately killed at a rate of five times higher than white babies are aborted craziness so that's what white liberals mean by black lives matter it means shut up and we'll tell you what to think and black lives matter oh my goodness that is such well, a <laughs> farce every single <laughs> week you have thousands of black males killing each other especially in chicago and new york and they don't do anything they don't say anything because that's well, expected but again well that's the hypocrisy they left so kanye west could put that country on the jews gets banned for it and you have rappers in Chicago throwing out their threats to one another on Twitter. No one's getting banned. Nothing's happening. These rappers are dying at a young age after these tweets go out. And that's fine on Twitter. It's the hypocrisy they left. It's okay. They, the Jews have no... And this is not to be against the Jews or anything, but I'm just calling it like it is too. So these Jewish people who control the media have no problem with young black men using Twitter to escalate their gang rivalries. But as soon as Kanye West uses it to say something about them, then it becomes a problem. It's crazy. It's crazy. And those are all those are all points you have to consider. That's the things you have to think about. And all Kanye West is trying to do is get people to think. Think for themselves. All right. So we covered this whole Kanye issue, but how would that affect in Trinidadians? You, you heard any opinions or interesting I mean, points of view? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's obviously not affecting Trinidad, right? Um, the the majority opinion down here is going to sway based on what the main, mainstream media says, what the memes on Facebook say. That's like everything, uh, you know, in the United States. We and, and that's the power and influence of the left that, you know, and Kanye even said this. He said America is a superpower. We're the only superpower and we influence the world. And he's right. Because the majority of people in the Caribbean, Latin America, the third world, their opinions are formed by the left. So the, the majority of opinion in Trinidad is going to be on the consensus of the side of Kanye's crazy and talking shippiness. You're saying that it do affect me, but I I find it does. I find it does really affect me in Trinidad and Tobago. Because when Rachel Price made a joke about Anthony Carmona, the president at the time, wife. She was taken, she was sued for that, she was lambasted for that. And the thing is, when you're a public figure, you open yourself to criticism. Correct. So if a yes. comedian make a joke about you, you are fair game, my friend, because you are well, a public figure. If comedians can't make jokes about people in society, then there's no such thing as a comedian anymore. They might as well just make the profession extinct. But yes, you're absolutely right in terms of, um, you know, that, that way of thinking, that cancel culture way of thinking, it has come to Trinidad. And that's because, and that's because the left-wing media has a stronghold on the way people think. And people don't like to admit, people don't like to think of themselves as brainwashed, but it's obvious that what is taking place right now, we have a thought police going around and they're telling people what they can and cannot say. And, and next point I had read just recently, how this affecting us, is that this judge, Frank Sipasad, came out and said that you can be sued, you can be taken to court for messages that you sent that are defamatory in a private chat about somebody, and that person doesn't even have access to that chat. Mm -hmm. So what mm -hmm. going on there? That sounded like serious censorship, serious communism in Trinidad. That's just the crazy world we live in, and... It's always, it's the people with the power to make those decisions. You know, they sit in high offices. 
And as the scary part, they use those seats of power to, to push their own individual opinions on the wider public, which is not what this court of law should be for. Well, that's the thing. To me, is is an <laughs> you know attack I mean? on speech, is an attack on uh, comedy, is an attack on thinking for yourself. You know, the, that in the, the law, there's a constitution, and your job as a judge is to protect whatever is enshrined in the constitution. It's not your job as a judge to, inf- to, to you know, impart your opinion on the wider public and what you think should be. There's a constitution. Everything you need to know as a judge is there in the constitution. There's no need to go outside of it. Well, boy, if people actually read the Constitution, the Constitution, they say that that's something that protects the rights of people. But how many people in Trinidad and Tobago have actually read our Constitution? Apart well, from myself, a, that, I, mean, for, I don't know nobody. I don't know anyone myself. <laughs> so, hey, why not? But, that, but you know, that there's an there's a age-old saying. The extent to which the Constitution protects people is the extent to which the people protect the Constitution. So if people don't think it's within their right, it's in... It's not in their best interest to read it and go right ahead. Mm-mm-mm. I tell you, it's a sad state of affairs. They're coming for Kanye. If they could get Kanye West, if they could <laughs> get Andrew Tate, if they could get a sitting president of the United States, who is going to protect you? <laughs>